Alrighty, this is part two of my trade binder. These are cards that um, are not necessarily worth a uh, whole lot, but uh, I've had them for a while, so they're going to be harder to get off me. Uh, and, you know, there's some valuable cards. Uh, foil O-Ring, Foil Talia, Thraben Heretic Foil, <laughs> and whatever. Foil Ponder from M12. Uh, the only reason that's in here uh, is because I'm hoping to one day upgrade to a Foil Lorowin Ponder, which would be very cool. <laughs> this is a something demon from Dark Ascension. It's a promo one. It's actually in Spanish. Demonio Rapaz. Yeah. See, uh, I had two of these. I'm down to one. Uh, it's a foil, textless, player rewards, lightning bolt, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's just a lightning bolt. It's just a common, but I mean, it's just used in modern and legacy, and that is always very cool to play with. <laughs> two dual deck tibbles. These Dreadbore are both foil. Here's the Geist of St. Trap. The only reason this guy's in here is because one day I hope to upgrade to a foil Geist of St. Trap. He is my general. Uh, my EDH deck is still in the making. Uh, FNM promo is a charm. Foil Turn and Burn. Foil Darksteel Ingot. Lightning Greaves from the Commander decks, the first ones that came out. Solemn Simulacrum M12. Foil, 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 foil. So foil is at Guildgate from Dragon's Maze, which is pretty cool. Uh, an original Ravnica Overgrown Tomb times two. Uh, Reliquary Tower should not be in here. It's part of my commander deck. Foil, original Ravnica. This is foreign. I can't tell if it's Chinese or Japanese, sorry. <laughs> Usually I can tell Korean from Chinese and Japanese, uh, so I'll call those Korean. And if I can't tell if a card like this is Chinese or Japanese, I'll say foreign. There's a foreign shrine to Nykthos, or Nykthos shrine to Nyx. Here's a Korean one. Uh, this is a kind of... I forget. It's not... It's not slight play, but it is, like, there's whitening here, 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 here. There's kind of, like, scuff marks on the back and on the front. You can't tell from far away in a sleeve, but, I mean, all you have to do is put it pretty close and you can tell. So, um, we could probably work out a good deal on that. Here's a strip mine. Pretty cool. Foil, foil. Foil. This one's actually altered art. As you can see, the black border has been painted over with more rock, and the waterfall cascades through the text box border thing. Uh, Tectonic Edge also is part of my commander deck, should not be in there. This is a pretty cool thing I open. It's a foil Korean. Temple of Abandon. Can't really get the foil, but it's foil. Went straight from my pack to my sleeve, so... Foil Korean. Pretty cool. This is regular Korean Temple of Mystery. Korean Temple of Silence. Korean Temple of Triumph. I have three original Ravnica Watery Graves. Two foil Woodland Cemeteries. A Korean Foil Plains. These two Zendikar Mountains are foil. I've also got a Tamiyo emblem, a Korean Thoughtsees, and a Korean Storm Breath Dragon. Uh, again, PM or comment down below. Um, these are going to be pretty hard to get off me, just because, um, you know, when I trade things for my standard deck, I trade standard for standard, and I mean... These are all, like, shock lands that I hope to trade into more lasting formats, you know. Like, that's always going to be around, always going to be around. Maybe be around, always going to be around. These lands are for players that 
casual players, I mean, that don't really need to get into fetch lands and dual lands. Uh, you know, simple stuff. Nothing too amazing. Uh, but again, thanks for watching, and have a good day.